pitching has been the main concern over the AL East teams for quite some time, and a lot of pitchers heading to the AL East this offseason. This is Gillis TV here on Clemhawks. Welcome in. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Clemhawks and I are so close to our goal of 4,000. Thank you guys so much if you're returning. And if you're new, this is all about MLB, anything and everything. As, like I said, AL pitching, we saw Chris Bissett go to the Toronto Blue Jays. The Rays made a couple pitching signings as well. And, of course, the Baltimore Orioles was Gibson earlier. Now they have acquired from the Oakland Athletics pitcher, left-handed pitcher Cole Irvin. This is reporting from Jeff Passan of ESPN. Right-hander Kyle Verbinski will also be heading to Baltimore while infielder prospect Daryl Hernandez is heading to the Oakland Athletics. You know, Cole Irwin spent the last few seasons with the Oakland Athletics and was really good for them in a sense that he earned a lot of praise by his coaches and teammates. But we all knew that Oakland is kind of on a sell now mode, you know, some kind of rebuild and whatnot. Irvin 29 next week was 9 and 13 for the A's last season in 30 starts he, with an earned run average of 3.98 and a 1.16 whip over 181 innings pitched. The Oregon product is in arbitration eligible through 2026. Irvin spent the last two seasons with the A's after making 19 appearances over the previous two seasons with the Philadelphia Phillies. Baltimore has also received minor leaguer Kyle Verbinski, the 24-year-old registered a 4.63 ERA in 130, or 126 and one-thirds innings across single A and high A ball last season. Her nays, 21 was listed as the Orioles' number 16th prospect in Baltimore's A minus high A and double A affiliates. Left hander pitcher DeWizen Hernandez has been designated for assignment by the Orioles as the trade pushed them over the 40 man roster limit. So the Orioles go out, make a big splash. They made a huge improvement last year, going, I believe it was over 500 for the first time in a long time. And they were pressuring pressuring the teams like the Yankees, like the Jays, in games that, you know, back in the day it was like, oh, we're playing Baltimore, this is an easy win, we don't even have to play our star players. Baltimore has turned things around, they are getting better, and they will be a team to watch to come in the next few seasons. Now, with Irvin, it's a left-hander, I believe every rotation should have a left-hander unless you have solid starting pitching all through your rotation. So I'll be interested to see how Cole Irvin works out for the Baltimore Orioles. Now with the Oakland Athletics, we've seen it all offseason and even the season before with Olsen, Murphy. They're getting younger. They want to just start a full-out rebuild. They are not a baseball market in a sense. They are a smaller baseball market. So keeping these higher-end guys is really cost-effective cost insufficient for them so that's why they do what they do so this is just a quick easy breakdown of the Cole Irvin trade to the Baltimore Orioles really good trade for the Orioles being a Blue Jays fan they are going to be a tough team to face but this has been Gillis TV here on the channel I'll catch you on the next one